Right, so we've got the spirit at 40%. Now, in order to really polish it up, get rid of any um, left unwanted flavours or smells, um, what we can do is filter it. This is the um, Still Spirits Easy Filter. Um, basically what it consists of is two 10 litre pails. Um, you pour your spirit into the top one. It goes through a carbon cartridge, which is underneath the bucket. And it drips through a hole in the top and filters through. And this does a great job of, of polishing it up. So all you do is simply pour that into the top. This is particularly good if you're um, doing 10 litre batches. So there's the spirit and it'll start dripping through. Put the lid on and uh, if I can Show you. Start dripping through the carbon cartridge. Uh, it'll take about an hour for that litre to run through the filter and then we'll collect that spirit into a bottle and talk about some flavourings. Hey and welcome back to part four. Um, in this segment I'm going to talk a little bit about the things you can do to turn your neutral spirit into the drink of your choice. Um, there are different ways. You can get the um, small bottles like this. This one's Candy Shots one I got for my wife, it's like a sweet liqueur um, and for that you need a base, a liqueur base. This is um, base A and the colour coded to the bottles, red liquor base goes to the red label on the bottle. Um, there's a base B and a base C as well, giving different viscosities and different sweetnesses. Um, then you can also get essences like this, this is a gin, um, this will make uh, I think it's 2.25 litres of gin at 40%. Um, really simple, you just add that to the alcohol. Um, then you can get the classic sachets. These are really good quality spirits. This is a premium Tennessee bourbon. Um, made to taste like a commercial spirit. I'm sure you can guess which one that is. Um, there's also this one is a spiced gold rum again made to taste like a commercial spiced rum um, and then the, there's the icon liqueurs which are, are fairly new um, these are basically the oh, the base pack and the bottle in one um, and these will make one bottle of spirit we've got a black sambuca um, an amaretto and a herbal liqueur again very similar to commercial spirits you can buy and then one I've never tried before is this Alcatec which is a top up liqueur it's basically got the um, flavouring and the base already in the bottle it comes in the bottle labelled ready to go again a copy of a commercial spirit all you do is add your spirit to the bottle give it a shake and it's ready to go uh, in my experience that they, they do although they are drinkable straight away they do benefit from aging they round off and they smoothen up a bit um, you can do other things you can buy the uh, whiskey essences and the bourbon essences and you can buy oak chips from whiskey barrels that have con ge contained genuine whiskey um, and um, chuck those in and leave them in your spirit for a while and they will impart 
some of the oakiness and the flavours from the uh, barrel. Um, and there's loads on the market, there's loads of different liqueur flavours. You can get um, cream liqueurs, um, mint cream, you know, butterscotch cream, that sort of thing, schnapps. The, the, the list is huge and uh, there's more coming out all the time. You can get cocktail mixes, different flavoured vodkas, um, tequila, you name it, you can make it pretty much. Um, so let's make one of these up now. Okay so we've now got our filtered spirit and I'm now going to draw a litre off ready to make up a bottle of bourbon. This is pretty neutral now, there's no smells or taste to it, which is what I want. This is at 40%, it's lovely and clear as you can see, really good end result. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to stop just before a litre because then we can rinse out the sachet um, with some spirit. This is a Tennessee bourbon, as I've already said. Just snip the top off. and then pour it straight in. Take a small amount of spirit. Just shut that up, give it a bit of a shake. Pour out the last remaining essence. Okay. Take a spoon, remember, you don't have to worry so much about sanitization at this point because the, with the percentage of alcohol that's in the spirit it's not going to get any, any infections. Give that a real good stir. It smells absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I've got a cleaned bottle and then I'll take a funnel and put it in the top and just start to pour in the spirit. shake up in the bottle and there you go a lovely bottle of homemade bourbon really simple as I've said before there are things you can do to further enhance it um, you could have some oak chips in there um, if you wanted to and ferment it uh, not ferment it condition it for um, six seven days to impart the flavors um, but there we have it the possibilities are endless you've got all these other flavourings you can make in the exact same way. Obviously, with the candy shots, you mix the base up in the spirit first. But in sorry, in um, I think it's warm water actually. Yeah, you do. You just mix that straight into the spirit, uh, and then add your flavouring, and that's the way. Those are pre-mixed, so they're just mixed straight in. And again, that's mixed straight in. So there you go. Have fun. Enjoy making your own spirits at home.